Welcome to this tutorial on glazing and staining with Windsor & Newton Galeria Acrylic. Windsor & Newton Galeria Acrylic is manufactured with the highest quality pigments. It is vibrant and fluid, possessing excellent brilliance and drying to a smooth satin finish. In this video, we will introduce a technique in which we use Galeria Acrylic in combination with Galeria Acrylic Gloss Medium to create transparent layers of color and glazes. For this technique we need the following. Some Galeria Acrylic Colors, Galeria Gloss Medium, Windsor & Newton Acrylic Paper, Galeria Acrylic Flat Brushes, a tear off palette pad, a paper towel and water. This simple and interesting experiment will demonstrate some of the great properties and qualities of Galeria Acrylic. By applying transparent color layers on top of each other, we will create intense optical color mixes. This is called glazing and originates from classical oil painting techniques. By combining this glazing technique and experimenting with stains of colors and layers, you can create the most beautiful effects in a few simple steps. For the first step, we apply a small amount of Galeria acrylic on a palette. This would preferably be a lighter color and can be either an opaque or a transparent color. Here we use the bright primary color lemon yellow, which is a transparent single pigment color pigment PY3. We then add some Galeria Gloss Medium to the palette at a ratio of about 1 to 2 and mix paint and medium thoroughly to obtain a nice consistent mix. By using the medium the beautiful consistency of the paint will be maintained when the paint is diluted. If we only dilute the paint with water we would not obtain the same level of solid paint film after the paint is dried. Just compare on a separate sheet a mixture of acrylic paint with water and a mixture of acrylic paint with medium. By using the medium the beautiful consistency of the paint will be maintained when the paint is diluted. If we only dilute the paint with water we would not obtain the same level of solid paint film after the paint is dried. Adding a little water to acrylic paint is in itself a good choice, as long as not too much water is added. But to prevent underbinding and to guarantee all the great properties of the acrylic paint will be maintained when diluting an acrylic paint, the use of an acrylic medium is preferred above the use of water. Now that we have made a nice and even mix, we paint a thin layer on the surface of the acrylic paper. The medium ensures an even distribution of paint and a beautiful shiny color field. Notice the high color intensity of the paint here. Once this layer has been applied, to create a texture, we sprinkle water drops on the colored area while this is still wet. This can be done by hand, with a brush or any other tool you find convenient. Vary between large and small drops and playfully spread them over the surface. As soon as the paint layer is completely dry, which will happen quickly due to the use of the medium as well due to the quick drying time of Galeria acrylic, we wipe away the water drops with a piece of paper towel an old piece of cloth or a tissue. In the areas where the water drops were on the paper, we can see the paint could not dry to become a strong paint layer. We can see white spots appear, which creates a staining effect. This experiment visualizes very well how the use of a medium maintains the drying properties of acrylic paint when diluting, as where well water would break this down. However, Although it illustrates how water underbinds the paint, it does create a great texture. For the second layer, choose a mid-tone and transparent color. In this example we use permanent rose, which is a beautiful pink made with pigments PR122 
and PV19. Mix the paint on the palette with the Galeria Gloss Medium and then apply a transparent glazing layer on top of the light background color. Make sure that this layer is not too thick, otherwise drying will take a very long time. We can see that the permanent rose on top of the yellow generates a reddish tint. This is what is called optical color mixing. We can see the violet shine of the permanent rose where the water drops left the spots in the previous layer. The white color of the paper shines through the glaze with permanent rose. Repeat the process as before on this layer, sprinkling water droplets then wipe off when the paint layer is completely dry. When glazing, it is important to work with transparent colors. The properties of the paint can be found on the label of the tube. If you see a white square, it means that this color is completely transparent. A black square means opaque. A white square with a dash means the color is semi-transparent and a square which is half white, half black means it's semi-opaque. For the third layer we choose another transparent color which sharply contrasts in terms of tone. In this example we use a single pigment color Windsor Blue with pigment PB15 which is a beautiful intense color very dark in tone and completely transparent. Repeat the entire process, applying a glaze, sprinkling it with water, allowing it to dry and wiping off the water droplets. All these layers together create a strong visual effect through optical color mixing. The vibrant colors of Galeria Acrylic and the glossy transparent paint layer which has been created with the gloss medium. The use of the gloss medium has preserved all the great qualities of Galeria Acrylic and ensured us with a solid and flexible paint layer. Here you can see an example of a 1 to 2 ratio. But in this example, the ratios are significantly different. Less paint was used here and much more gloss medium, which led to a total different result. Now it's up to you to discover new color variations and to experiment with this technique. So try different ratios of medium and paint, create your own color combinations and vary with the amount of layers and the way you add water. Thanks for watching and enjoy painting.